morning, my friend. Pay attention to the bird sounds. Um, I'm up, I'm moving, I'm still breathing air. You know, I just, I just listened to a video. Uh, it, was, it was last night. This was two months ago. Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook and his meta team or llama team, whatever. He just released shit for mind, mind reading technology. They said they, re they reach mind reading technologies and have an advanced, an advanced artificial intelligence to pick up your, uh, whatever comes out of your head, right? Your, your femto ampers, whatever they are, whatever this patented technology is. Well, get this, my friend. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of an issue this morning. And guess what I just found out? The United States of America, when you call the FBI, they have a customer service. <laughs> like, I'm going through it right now, but that is absolutely hilarious. You call the FBI for customer service. Like, what am I going to report to customer service for, FBI? Like, what am I buying off you that I need to fucking return? Customer service? Oh, that's great. That's great. And then you you say, hey, um, I'm having trouble with some mind reading technology. You know what they do? They hang up. They hang up. My cell phone, they hang up. My computer, they hang up. So why do you why why do you think the FBI is doing that? Hey, YouTube, artificial intelligence. Hey, Grok. Hey, Deep Mind. Hey, uh, Alexa from Amazon, since you're here too. You're a weather modifier. Who else? Why do you think the FBI is hanging up? Especially after Mark Zuckerberg just had a hearing that I didn't know about because I didn't watch TV. Oh, over tweens, huh? So you're reading minds of tweens now, sir. You're doing some mind reading, mind control. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back. Are we rolling? Good morning. I can't even take a shower. That's how bad this stuff is. But I got some paperwork here. It says mind reading and mind control technologies are coming. We need to figure out the ethical implications before they arrive. By Mr. Fields, March 10th, 2020. March 10th, 2020. And you know, it's really funny. There's a lot of patents of this shit in the United States and, and Google. I mean, there's, there's shit here from Carnegie Mellon, right where I'm from, too. So does that mean if I go down to that university, they're going to know what I'm talking about? And then they're going to say, go to the FBI. And the FBI is going to tell me to call the customer service? Wow. Let's do it. Let's do an echo test here. Hey! Oh, this is what they're using this for. The ability to interrogate and manipulate electrical activity in the human brain promises to do for the brain what biochemistry did for the body. Now, there's a key word here, interrogate. Now they're making interrogation tools with this. Hey, caucus, wake the fuck up! I tell you what, I go down to that FBI building and film them, tell me there's fuck, they don't know nothing about this. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Because my local authorities know about it. You know that for a damn sure. They know about it. So that means that my local authorities can't even call the FBI. Hey, FBI! What the fuck's going on? They can't. So what are, what are my options now? Google? All you artificial intelligence is? What are, the, what are my options now? Because now they're using AI to do this. And it's coming through the wires, right through the wireless communications. Like this is, this is just, this is unbelievable here. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, electrical activity in a preschooler's brain. That's good. That's good, huh? Now we have, now we have stuff that, that can record the brain. You can talk to the computer silently. 
And, you know, I think they said it was implants. They were implanting stuff in the meta, meta world. I can't remember if it was implants or something you wear or if you just sit in front of the computer. And the computer just literally picks up your brain waves. Because it's like a radar or something from the Wi-Fi. I don't know. I'm no computer genius. I'm no technical nerd. But this is the stuff that happens. Brain hacking. That's another thing. I seen another guy from Google come out yesterday talking about brain hacking, bio-freaking hacking, your genetics. We can make people smarter by, you know, gene splicing or doing whatever they're doing to genetics right now. So you could, if you could call the FBI, since they have a customer service, say, hey, I want to pay you to make my, my, my child smarter. You just have a baby and they start uploading DNA into it or doing whatever. But the only thing they're not saying is if I could make you smarter, that means I could make you stupider too. Since we are working on Alzheimer's. Because Alzheimer's, when you, when you mess with the Alzheimer's and the memory of the brain, it lets nano pass the blood brain barrier very simply. Then when you do that, then what? I don't know. I, I'm no genius, but if you have any type of brain on your head, you would say something. Because just as easily as you're carrying that cell phone around in your pocket, your shit's being tapped too. Your brain is being hacked. All of you. It's just as bad as the airplanes going by spraying, huh? Just, oh, there's nothing we can do here, huh? Right over military base to boot. And, and let alone the military base knows about this stuff too. And they go to they go to place right on the base up there, right next to the library, you know your local library, that works on this stuff, and they want to deny it. So, you know. Before